Two firefighters are waking up in the hospital this morning after an accident during a charity event. It happened yesterday at Campbellsville University. WLKY's Colin Mayfield live from University Hospital with more on what's next for the men and how their peers are responding this morning. Colin? It is a horrible accident, Monica and Karen. We're told Tony Greider at last check was in critical condition here at University Hospital this morning. And 22-year-old Alex Quinn is in fair condition uh, after this horrific accident that we learned about yesterday. We're told Captain Greider and Mr. Quinn were in a bucket uh, on an aerial ladder while they were helping the school's marching band taking part in the Ice Bucket Challenge, which is an ALS awareness type of uh, online thing that's just taken it by storm. And firefighters sprayed the band members and, and were lowered then uh, from the ladder when they got too close to a high voltage power line there. Chief of Police estimates about 65,000 volts of electricity shocked the two men. Firefighters from around the metro area came to the hospital yesterday, as you can imagine, to show their support and solidarity for their two lost brothers, or two fallen brothers. My heart just sank. You know, it, whether you think it's serious, whether they're going to live or not, or whatever, that doesn't matter. It's just that you have fellow firefighters that, that, are, that are injured. And, I'll be honest with you, I stopped and uh, said a prayer for them. There are more than just Grider and Quinn hurt yesterday. There were two men on the ground that were also hurt. Uh, we're not sure how badly, but they were treated and released yesterday here at University Hospital. Karen. All right, Colin, is there a timeline that we have from doctors in terms of uh, how the firefighters are doing and what they're expecting as far as their outcome? Yeah, well, the problem is we're just not sure uh, exactly how severe their injuries are. So doctors are going to take the next 24 to 48 hours to learn uh, just how badly those injuries might be, Karen. All right. Uh, really a tragic story there, Colin. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Campbellsville University's president issued a brief statement on the accident saying, we express heartfelt sympathy and prayers for the families of the firefighters who were injured.